Hey, it's KM. So my school just recently had finals and I know that's really weird timing, but um, during final exams, I gave my students some advice for studying because their thought is always study most for the class that you're doing the worst in. And I told them, here's a little bit of a different strategy. I gave them a formula that lets them figure out based on what grade they have in the class right now and what grade they want to have and how much the final exam is worth. Um, they can figure out what score they need to get on the final exam in order to get the grade they want in the class. And then I told them, use that formula and use it to strategize. For example, if there's a class where you have a C, and in order to get yourself up to a B, you would have to get 110% on the final exam, and in order to keep your C, you only have to get a 50% on the final exam, you're probably not gonna get a B in that class, but there's a pretty good chance you're gonna keep your C, so don't give up, but maybe you don't put all your work and study into that class trying to get 110% that was never gonna happen. But then if there's another class where maybe you have a B and you need a 90% on the final exam to get an A, okay, that's the one you're gonna buckle down and study really hard for and try to, um, try to get there, because you could make that happen if you work really hard. So I was telling them, you know, study the most for the class where and then I just stopped and I asked myself what in the name of all things good and true am I doing and I told them okay no I'm not giving you good advice I'm not giving you the advice I should give you because I know you're not gonna take it the class you should study the most for is the one you're the most interested in or the one you think you're going to use that material later in life. And the look they gave me, it was like that had never occurred to them. And no one had ever told them that. Man, I've heard that quote so many times, never let your academics get in the way of your education, but I feel like I didn't understand what it meant until that moment. Um, so if you're in school and you're watching this, yeah, you have to pass certain classes to get through, but when it comes to deciding what classes get the most of your time, the best of your effort, the most of your heart and soul into your studies, maybe consider picking the class that you're going to use again, the one that you never want to forget. In fact, the class in high school that I have the most regrets about is not one that I did poorly in, it's one that I got an A in but could have done so much more if I had put more effort in rather than just dismissing it and being like, whatever, I have an A, so I don't care about anything beyond that. So, uh, asking you whether you're in school or not, what class sparked your interest the most? Do you have any regrets about choosing academics over, educa over education? Um, and let me know in the comments. By the way, uh, up to this point, I've never jumped on the Instagram wagon, but I have done that now. I'm now posting pictures of cool stuff that I do in class, so if you want to see that and see what we're up to, um, check out the description for a link.